Hello kings and queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Trinity. If you are new to my channel, welcome boo. Welcome to the Trifecta family. If you are not new, hey sis, welcome back. So I'm gonna get right into this video. Today, I have not done a sit down video in a while, but bear with me guys, okay? Bear with me. Today we'll be doing makeup look inspired by the beautiful Meg Thee Stallion. And I really was inspired to do Meg because her makeup style is different from my makeup style particularly. I decided I want to try it. Maybe I like it, you know? So if you are interested in seeing me do this look inspired by Meg Thee Stallion, keep watching. First, the first thing I want to do is her brows. Her brows are different from the way I wear my brows. In this picture, her brows are pretty thin in this picture, very thin. Um, and the tail does not go down, the tail goes outward. So instead of cutting my own brows <laughs> or gluing them, I'm literally just, just gonna show you guys how I conceal my brows to create the shape that I want. I'm going to be starting with uh, Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I stopped using these concealers for a while and then I just found them again recently and I'm loving it. But this is a Coastal Sense little concealer brush and I mixed the colors Mocha and Coco. Coco is a little darker than my um, foundation shade and Mocha is my concealer shade. So I just mixed them um, even though she does have a really bright highlights under her brow um, if you go in with too light of a color when you're trying to cover hair first it just still shows those hairs so please do not mind my hair it's so dirty it's time I don't want to give I don't want to give my braids up but it's time anyway so I'm going to start by tail I would normally bring it down from my normal brow. But we're doing this now. So. Mm. Cut it. So as you guys can see, it's way more straight. And that is the look we're going for. I did not mention, but I have already moisturized um, and primed my skin. And I am going to conceal over with the same concealer, but I did not add any extra. Because the color that I blended together matches my skin tone, um, it's cool to conceal it on top of the brow, but I would not suggest it if you are using a lighter, a much lighter concealer. So now I'm just going in. I got this brow pencil from the beauty supply store. Uh, yeah, it's called uh, Italia. And I am just going to go straight across and try to keep it pretty thin. I'm always so tempted to thicken up my brows. So. We got the brows kind of done. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go straight to the eyeshadow. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much time, too much more time on the brows. Just trying to perfect it is going to lower my mood. It's so hard to change your ways. Um, I've been so doing such glowy looks this summer, very skin, but not skin um, type of looks. So this is definitely different for me right now. So I'm gonna go in with my, when I do use foundation this during the summer, um, I use the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free, Oil Free Foundation. I mix the colors P110 and N90. If you guys are new here, I'm gonna let you know from the beginning. I'm a mixer. I love mixing my shades. Um, I do it on myself personally, but also my clients. I just 
don't feel like anybody's face is one shade, so we're mixing these two. Let me get a sip of coffee. Isn't this cup adorable? My cousin got it made for me. If you can't tell us, that's Trinity. Thank you, Tay. Okay, so I'm just gonna put them all back in my hand. Yes, I mix literally everything on the back of my hand. Well, I'm gonna use a little eyeshadow brush. Don't judge me. Just to put the color. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. This has been my newfound technique as of late. Start in the areas that you really want that coverage. Okay guys, my foundation is on. I'm gonna let her sit, um, let it marinate, and then um, now I'm gonna go to the eyeshadow. Uh, I do this method because once again, layering helps let it sit. Then you put the concealer on, it just, I don't know, it just works. <laughs> it works, trust me. I'm gonna start, this is the um, BH Cosmetics, it's my Ray Ray palette. I'm gonna start with this one. Okay guys, so I have started this eye. I've put down the transition color and flare as the crease shade. I'm going to do the same thing. Putting flare in the crease on this eye and then I will come back when we're ready to do the cut crease. So when I do the cut crease, I'm using Pure Beige LA Girl Pro Concealer. So I'm gonna start by trying to keep this concealer just on my lid. Keeping it small, like Meg. She seems to go more straight across in the inner corner. I'm trying not to panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. I can't tell if it's a shimmer on the full lid. It looks pretty matte to me, so I'm gonna use these two and mix these two. The Color it Rain Smoke Show palette. Um, the color on her lid looks matte, and then a shimmer in her inner corner. So that's just how I'm gonna do it. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with that burgundy, the color Flare. Now I'm going to really saturate it and define that crease. Okay, so let's try this one light. Okay guys, this is one eye. I'm gonna go off camera and do this eye and I'll be right back. Okay beauties, I'm back. I finished the second eye and I did add lashes, guys. Um, the lashes, I didn't have any lashes in the similar style that Meg had. Um, so I decided to put these on. So these are from Crystal Camille, black owned. Small business brand. Yes, 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 yes. The style I'm using are in sunshine, I think. If this is the correct box. Because you know, I've used these lashes five, six times already. So, yeah. Love them. Can't say anything but great things about them. 
So I will make sure I put her in the description box below. Go check her out and go shop with her. And tell her that Trinity sent you, okay? So I am gonna go in with a pretty, she does have a pretty light highlight. Um, but once again, like I told you guys, it's all in the, the way she concealed because she is not using any actual um, like shimmery highlights. I mixed the Pierre Beige Concealer and the Mocha Concealer from Too Faced. The LA Girl is going to kind of thin out the Too Faced and allow it to not dry so quickly, but the Too Faced adds coverage to the LA Girl. So once again, I love mixing. Um, so you want to make sure you have that on the eyes. Down the center of the nose. I am going to take a little left over. And put it under. Now we are setting our under eyes. from Makeup Shayla and Colourpop um, collab. I'm gonna go in with this one. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite. Look here. Like, it doesn't look like she does not have highlight on. It just looks like she doesn't have a lot. All right, let's spray and let's get to the lips. So for the lips, I'm going to be using Mac Night Moth, and this is it's my Ray, um, her pink, is it? Rosie Ray. Rosie Ray Lip Gloss has a cute little pink color. And then you guys, I'm gonna go in with my trifecta lip gloss in the color Rose Quartz. Yes, this is my personal one. I don't have a label on it because this is my sample one. But, Okay guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Once again, disclaimer, I am not Maggie Stallion. She is another beautiful black woman. I'm a beautiful black woman. I just was inspired by her makeup look and I wanted to try her makeup style. Um, it is definitely very different from my style of makeup right now. But I'm really mad, sis. <laughs> Let me in the comments below what your favorite part was what if you would take any style or techniques from this look what would it be and put below who i should do next hmm definitely let me know definitely let me know in the comments below i would love to hear what you guys have to say and yeah 
always remember, be positive, be great, and be you. Later.